part of this as he is. But it's the murder of Joan Crowder by John Pate. Now, I talked about this maybe a couple of years ago on a live stream. Uh, we covered it, uh, you know, and but not in full-length detail. And there is a few um, kind of uh, discrepancies uh, along the way. And I'll tell you what I found during my investigation as well, because uh, it may open a door to something else possibly. But I've never been able to totally confirm some of the things that I've got. Okay, so this is the murder of Joan Crowder by John Pate in Madison County. And the story goes, Joan Clarissa Rice was born in Madison County, North Carolina, in April of 1867. And it lists her family. Won't go into that. Uh, but uh, she does have, um, she grew up with eight siblings, four brothers, four sisters. And uh, then it goes into the next detail of her life where it says Joan, or she sometimes would go by Joanna, as often is referred to, has, she had six children of her own with a fellow named Jefferson. I think it was his last name. I didn't give that. But anyway, um, there were four boys uh, and two girls. And uh, she became a widow. It doesn't say how he died. I don't know how her husband died or anything about that at all. So um, there is some details I don't have. Uh, it says that then some of uh, when she became a widow, some of her children moved in with family members and things like that. It says several newspapers covered what happened in 1904. So this is 1904. Now we're going to jump ahead from her birth in 1867 to 1904. Some reports even went as far as Atlanta, Georgia. So from North Carolina to Georgia, that was um, this was a pretty big story. Uh, to be covered that far away. Uh, several newspapers had covered it. So, um, and then, like I say, it even says here too, there was conflicting stories about this, but here is what we got. On July 31st, 1904, John Pate went to the home of the Rices. Uh, the newspaper says, uh, not, they didn't know why exactly. Um, but John asked where the Jones' whereabouts were, where her whereabouts was. And um, they're, they're describing a home where she might have been. So he went to this place on the other side of a mountain looking for her. Uh, the neighbor heard a woman moaning, and so she went, look. So here is kind of like it's given like a short detail. So basically what happened, and I'm going to have to fill in the gaps here because this little air article don't have all the, the gaps to fill in that I know of. So there was an affair that it happened. Now, was she willingly in the affair and then broke it off and it made him mad? Or did she want to have an affair or did he want to have an affair and she didn't and she left? So basically what happened was Joan moved in with John and his wife, Texana. Tex Anna and Joan are cousins. And um, what somehow along the line, it was something over an affair. He wanted to have an affair with her, or they were having an affair, and she broke it off. Uh, she left their home. He went looking for her. He went to several different places and trying to figure out where she's at, as it says here. Um, and then it says uh, he, he did come across her. He did find where she was at. He shot her. Uh, and what has been said that she got shot in the arm, the elbow area. Um, and then she had stomp or like somebody had stomped her chest and stomped her stomach and all that. And um, it's just, a, it was awful. She had extensive bruising, as it says here to her ab abdomen. Uh, she regained conscious enough to tell a neighbor that John Pate had, had, was trying to kill her. Just then, Pate uh, came back to where Joan and the neighbor were. Uh, they got Joan into the neighbor's house where she did die a couple hours later. Before she died, it was said that a few witnesses uh, that John Pate had pursued uh, Joan to say that, uh, that she shot herself. So he's blaming her for shooting herself in the arm. Um, 
and uh, try to, to say it wasn't him. Okay. So there's a lot of gaps here, but from this story, so I'm filling in as I go. So as we said, an affair of some kind, we don't know about it. You know, I've already covered that. So he went looking for her. He got her, shot her, stomped her. She ended up dying. He then takes off because he's a coward. Yeah, he's a coward. He takes off and he flees to Tennessee. And then there becomes a $300 reward. And I know $300 don't sound like a lot today, but I did the math on that uh, a couple days ago. And $300 equivalent to today is like $10,000. So there's that. Hey, sis. And so it's $10,000 compared to the 300 back then. So it had been a lot of money back in 1904 for sure. And uh, so they did track him down. His wife, of all people, helped hide him from the police. And it goes on to say that they, you know, had a, a search party. They, they went to look for him. They did find him. They got him to jail. Uh, he had a mustache, which he had trimmed. His wife was arrested at the time, but then was released soon after. Why? I don't know. She, she hit him. I don't know why you would let her go. Um, to me, that's just, what is that? Um, like an accessory or whatever, where she was trying to hide a man that was wanted for murder. So he went to jail and was waiting on a trial. However, he managed to escape uh, jail one more time, this time uh, with other inmates with the help of one of the inmates' wife. He goes again to Tennessee, and they find him in an old rundown shack. Um, he started to reach for his gun and go after him, but um, that they they surrounded him, so he didn't do anything. So they brought him back where he served. Um, he was charged on a second-degree murder and sentenced to 30 years in prison. He died in 1948. It says he died in 1948 living a full life after taking one. He's buried beside his wife, Texana, who uh, stuck by him the entire time despite him having killed her cousin. They're both buried at uh, Clark's Chapel. I've been to this place before, and um, they... Um... Hey, Vodka, how are you? Good morning. So I've been to this place, and I've done an investigation there before. And through the investigations, I've done a couple of them. He is a very cocky, arrogant son of a gun. So, um, and, and the question that I'm, and I would play the video, but unfortunately, I don't, the, the signal's just not strong enough for whatever reason. I'm in the house, like I said, for people who might be joining us, but uh, whatever reason, it's just not, um, you know, allowing me to flip back and forth. So I'll kind of cover uh, what I've, what I've uh, come across. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, let me bounce here just a second. There we go. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything. Mm, no, I can't get it. I can't get it to load. Okay. So even though I can't get it to load, we'll still talk about what I got. So I did ask questions like, did you murder her? And uh, I got a word like celebrate came through. Um, I said, did you stomp her after you shot her? And I got the word agreed came through. Um, it just seems like he was just happy that, that he killed her. Now, again, with those investigations, I wish I could show you, but I'll have to get the links and put them in, uh, put them in here in a minute. If I can get YouTube to load back up again, um, if not, I can put it at the end, and uh, y'all can go back and uh, get it. So there's two investigations that I did, and I use things like flashlights and K2s to kind of help light things up if they wanted to do that, and it would help answer questions as well. So uh, that worked. And then I used the spirit talker and I used the uh, ghost tool app in those two investigations. So it is a couple of years ago when I did those. So the one thing I, I did get was, and I don't know if it was pertaining to him and, and 
and Joan or anything, but I got infant. And um, I don't know 100% sure if there's a child involved between these two. There, there could have been the infant. that When the infant came through, it could be another spirit trying to communicate to. I don't know. And 100%, I don't know. But just the sheer fact that the man tried to, he wanted to kill her for some reason. I mean, what was the biggest reason? Because she didn't want to have an affair? Well, there's something to hide. And those are things I've not been able to uncover. And in this article that I got, which kind of like highlights the, the entire situation, um, there's other, um, there's pictures, uh, there's other newspapers. Like, like I said, all the way down to Atlanta, Georgia, um, <clears throat> it was covered uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, so there's different things that popped up. Um, they all kind of give a little bit different details, but it was in the middle of the woods where he ran her down and shot her and stomped her. And uh, again, uh, he tried to find his way out of it multiple times and said he didn't do it and escaped prison twice. Um, I'm not seen my sister's in here. She might be able to shed a light on anything I might've missed. Uh, but, I've not seen anywhere where a possibly a child was involved or maybe she had been pregnant or something like that. Uh, I did get attic when I was uh, doing the investigation as well. It makes me think that, you know, I asked, I said, you know, did she live in your attic or something when she lived there? I never got a confirmation on that. But again, it was, um, you know, uh, some, it's more questions than answers. Yeah, he should have been put under the jail. Well, his wife should have been put in jail too. She hit him, and they arrested her and let her go. Which I'm yet to figure out why you would do that. A hundred percent. Let me turn this light. There we go. Uh, I don't know why you would just let her go, uh, being the fact that she hit him, and I'm sure she was a part of his second time, you know, escaping being hidden too. So I don't know why you would do that and not, not put her behind bars. Um, but in the same spot that she was murdered, there was other murders that happened there too over time. And I can't remember if they were before or after, but in this one area. And um, either way, uh, there's a lot more questions than answers, right? And that's pretty much the story. It's not a very long story because I don't have all the details except for the things that I was able to investigate and get that, you know, he was happy with it. And he just an evil guy. He just, he was trying to get out of it, said he didn't do it. She shot herself in the arm. And I guess he was going to say that she stomped herself too. I, I guess I, I'm assuming that was the case. I don't know if they knew he did it. I mean, she confessed to who it was 